In this video, we're going to look at a couple ways we can create a click track in Pro Tools. So, a click track or a metronome track is very, very easy to create in Pro Tools. You can simply come up here to the track menu, click track, and then come down here to create click track. There we go. And it's as simple as that. Now, you could set this up yourself by, uh, uh, you know, creating your own track and then pulling in the click to insert on it. But of course, it's much easier to just come up here to track and create click track. But there's an even easier way of creating a click track in Pro Tools, and that is have Pro Tools created automatically whenever we start a new session. So let's look at that right now. We'll go here to Setup, Preferences. Let's come over here to the MIDI tab. And then right here, you'll see automatically create click track in new sessions. Make sure that's checked. Click OK. And now, let me create a new session. Call this click to go ahead and create that. We'll save our current session. And there we go. Here is our new session. It's already pulled up. And as you can see, we already have a click track created. So now I can create whatever other tracks I want to create. So we have our click track here in Pro Tools. Now if I hit play, well, I'm not hearing anything. That's because I have not turned on my metronome. I can do that right down here just by clicking this button now when I hit play. Of course, we get our metronome. So that's pretty much it. One more thing I will mention is, of course, down here is where you can choose uh, your different tempos. So, of course, your metronome will follow along. Okay, let's put that back on 120. And also your count off will turn on count off here. I have to set up for a two bar count off. Okay, so let me just arm a track here. Watch, I'll even turn off the metronome. Now, if I hit the chord, you can see there, it gave us a two bar count off. We heard the metronome, even though the metronome wasn't turned on. As soon as we started recording, again, we do not hear the metronome. That can be helpful if, um, for example, maybe you're using, let me create a track here real quick. Maybe you're using something like BFD3 uh, or some other drum program for your sort of metronome sounds, the, whatever you're using to keep your time. You know, you don't have to use a metronome. You can use a drum program, in any kind of program really, that keeps sync with your DAW. So here's BFD3 and you know, like I said, maybe instead of using a click track, you'll want to use a drum track and you can do that as well. So that's where the count off really comes in handy as you can still hear your click track, your two bars in or your one bar in, whatever you want to set up here. Okay. And then it'll drop right out. Just make sure you either have this button ticked or unticked, depending on what you want. So again, if you want the count off, make sure that's lit up. If you want the click track to keep going after the count off, make sure your metronome is lit up. If you don't want the count off, just untick that and you can leave the metronome on and you'll... There we can hear both BFD3 and our click track then all right so that is how to create a click track and a couple ways to use a click track within pro tools really easy real efficient especially if you set it up come here to set up preferences your midi tab and check that automatically create click track in the sessions so go set up pro tools like that for yourself and if, if you're in a session where you don't need a click track it's real easy just simply right click delete you're good to go and if you want the click track back again track, create click track, you're good to go. Real easy, create a click track in Pro Tools.